high temperatures, smoke, toxic fumes. These are just a few of the dangers that chemical fires present. Moving quickly, these fires can have devastating results. They require special firefighting techniques and are often difficult to control. When chemical fires release corrosive or toxic gases, the safety and health of the surrounding community can also be affected. Some emergencies may even require people to evacuate. All of these hazards make combating chemical fires especially dangerous. Of course, the best way to fight a fire is to prevent it from occurring in the first place. But to do this, you need to know what causes things to burn. Fire requires three components, heat, fuel, and oxygen. Removing any one of these will extinguish a fire. Let's look at each of them in detail. For a fire to start, it needs some type of heat to ignite it. Sources of ignition include open flames, sparks from cutting and welding, electrical short circuits, unshielded hot surfaces, and friction between materials, which can generate heat and static electricity. In addition, chemical reactions can produce enough heat to cause materials to burst into flames. <laughs> 